Hi everybody. So I had told you that I was working on three projects. My screens, my curtains, and my Reflectix. Well, it turns out, I, I'm sure that by watching other YouTube channels, you guys know that, and I even did a, a how to not do screens video. So I'm sure you guys get the idea that doing screens is not easy anyway. And thank you all for the ideas that you sent me. I, I didn't want to do the, the, the one where you put the screws in and everything and, and you can snap it off because my seals are pretty uh, tight or, or my doors um, jams and all where those would go it would I'm afraid that would mess that up and I don't want to put anything in between the doors and the walls when the doors shut I, I I have enough problems or worry enough about leaks as it is so I really had an idea of how I wanted to do it and I was really looking forward to sharing that with you guys I had I think it was about five steps that I was going to do and and I'll list those right here for you and and, um, but it turns out I, I, I can't do projects anymore. I can't think well enough to do projects anymore. I had everything out and was in the process of doing it. Um, and I just can't think. I can't, it, I, I can't even come up with the words to tell you what it's like. And it was very difficult for me to accept that. It was very challenging to not get depressed over that. I mean, when you're out here, how can you be depressed in something so beautiful, right? But I did shed some tears over that, and it's been devastating to realize that I can't do things that I used to could do. Um, I, I don't even know how to share with you what that, what that feels like, to just see your life slipping away from you. I, I can't imagine what it's like for people with Alzheimer's and in the early stages, my sister has Alzheimer's and to know that, that your life is just uh, slipping away from you. That's what this feels like. And I'm just determined to hang on to and believe that it is uh, going to get better and that when I get out of the city and I'm out in nature like this all the time um, and, and my stress level goes down, that I'll get some of my functioning and capability back. But I also have to be realistic and honest and with myself and with others that I know something has shifted and um, my life has gotten smaller again yet. And for those of you that keep telling me to go to my doctor, please know that I will probably make a loop and go to Texas and I will work with my trustee and my tribe on whether to see my doctors or not. But they've been real honest with me, my, my neuros have, that I, there's nothing that can be done for me. It just is what it is. And I can go to them and I will talk to the, my tribe and my trustee and and it, but if I, my doctors tell me they want to put me in the hospital and do a bunch of testing and everything so they can see what has happened and that there's nothing they can do for me anyway, I probably will not do that. I, I want to be out here. And so um, you guys, keep, you always keep your comments nice for me and just please continue to do that. Don't judge me for um, if, if, if I decide to not go to the, to the doctor in the hospitals over this latest um, change in my cognitive ability. Um, I, if you've been through years of prodding and testing and surgery and only for them to tell you there's nothing else they can do and you want to keep doing all of that, you, you know, that I would, I would honor you for that and I just honor, ask that you honor me for choosing not to do that if it comes to it. So, on a lighter note, I am going to donate my project items because it's gotten to the point where I either have to make something with all of these project things and, and utilize them or they need to stay out of my van because I don't have room. So I am going to donate a whole bunch of stuff tomorrow and I will bring my tent to Quartzsite to the RTR and give that to someone. And I'm just going to um, keep my van as it is. I had hoped uh, to honor everybody with all that you've given me by making nice curtains and screens and, and making my Reflectix pretty. I thought that was the least I could do, but 
since I can't do it, I, my van is good enough and I'm happy in it. And it's just a palace on wheels and Fancy Free and I are gonna just keep on keeping on. So that's it, that's my update, that's my vlog for today. I love you guys. I'm anxious to get back on the road so I can interact more on YouTube. And we have left our campsite and are back in the city and the clip that I shared with you about not being able to do projects was done at our campsite outside of Sundance in the Bear Lodge Mountains. And now I am back at Robert's son and daughter-in-law's house I was so proud of me before we left camp this morning because I got up early and I figured out um, I have such wonderful viewers. Thank you guys. Thank you. I mean, I really, you guys lift me up and I've had some people make donations and I've had people order my books and I've lost track of who all I've sent stuff to and replied to. So I got up early before we left camp and I made a list and, and went back through uh, to the beginning of my YouTube channel and made a list of everybody and made sure that whether or not I had responded. And I think that I got it right. And so if, if you haven't heard from me by the end of the month and you've ordered a book, please let me know. But I think I've got it right. So I got up and I did all of that and I um, had five people, isn't that wonderful? I've got five people that I needed to send my book to and I got my envelopes ready and I, and I checked them off on the list and I got to the post office and I had only addressed one. The rest, no address. No address, no address, infinitum. And so I've got to open them up see who I inscribed the book to, then look on my list and get the address again. And so they still didn't go out today. I hope they go out tomorrow, but the thing is the uh, uh, post office here is very busy and I had hoped to do it in the small town of Sundance. So um, that is just a day in the life for me, dealing with my brain injury. Everybody has brain burps, but this is every waking moment I do things like this. And then we broke down camp and that was very stressful. And I had said that I was gonna give away my camp, my tent at Quartzsite at the RTR, but it, I, I needed it gone. So I also donated it. So we will be on the road in a couple of weeks and I am definitely going to go through Texas and see my doctor. Well, I say definitely. If they tell me that there's nothing they can do, no matter what kind of test they do, I may not. But I'm planning on it at this point, and I'll keep you posted. But I just wanted to, to finish up from yesterday, today's events, and, and just say that life is good and that I see so many people. I, I know of somebody that's gonna get on the road with her terminally ill mother. I know others that have brain injuries that are doing remarkable things. And, and just in the medical field alone, there's advancements being made. But most of all, I'm so proud of all the heroes and heroines that I hear from on this channel that you guys just lift me up and you just keep me going. Coco, keep on keeping on no matter what. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you down the road.